how they widen it. Okay, thank you very much. This is Bill at Highland News Service. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? What are you guys doing here today? We're building this bridge. We're going to replace it. Right. We're taking soil borings. Finding out how good the concrete is on the bridge itself, or no, design a new foundation. The soil underneath the old foundation. How long you been working here? Well, we started last Wednesday. How long do you expect to be here? Uh, a couple of weeks. You're working right now through. The, are you, when are you going to replace the bridge? I don't know. That's we're, we just get the information for the engineers so they can design the foundation and then they put it out to bid. Where are you guys out of? New York? Yes. Yeah. And tell me about your truck and what it's doing. Well, we're advancing casing down the hole. We're pouring the bedrock. How far down do you go? Well, we hit rock on this hole about 14 feet. Are you going to test both sides of the highway or just one? Yeah, there's holes over on that side too. Okay, well, we're here at the Route 313 in Plumstead Township, and they're doing some testing to widen and redo this bridge. As you can see, the bridge is in pretty bad shape, and I guess it won't be long until a new bridge will be here. And your name is? Uh, John Warner. John Warner. It's nice to meet you, and uh, hope that uh, you have a good time here and you don't get in any accidents. Because people, people aren't very you know, conducive to helping you guys out. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yep. Mouse Control at Highland Hill Farm. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst, and we are at our greenhouses at Highland Hill Farm. And one big problem that we have is that during the winter time, we have lots of damage that mice do to our plants. We counteract these damages by uh, putting rat poison out and trying to hurt the mice. And the reason we want to hurt the mice is that when mice get into the greenhouse, they usually gnaw on our trees because their teeth constantly grow and they, they chew on wood. And it just so happens that the only thing in here to chew on is our little trees. And they usually chew on it at the roots, at the root zone or at the root flare of the tree. And what happens is the tree gets girdled and then dies. We don't always see the death until the spring, but usually you can tell which ones they are because the mouse, when the tree goes in there, they usually get a little bit crooked to the side because when they, they go into the pot, they make a big burrow and that, bur that hole, what happens is it sometimes collapses and the tree kind of leans over a little bit. So you can tell which ones they are and which ones are not. And uh, another reason we don't like mice is a lot of the field mice, they, are, they like pack rats. They just, they, they collect things. And one thing they collect is they collect seeds. When they collect seeds, they usually bring them into their burrow, which is in these pots. And that's where the seeds are. And in the springtime, they germinate and we have weeds in our greenhouse again, unfortunate. So we don't really like mice. And we put rat poison out all the time. And we put rat poison out in different forms. We, uh, we usually go with the gr uh, granular type. And we put the granular type inside egg cartons so that the birds don't eat them. And we want to put them in places where the water doesn't get to them so they don't mush up and actually can still be eaten. And that's what we do at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you. This is our four to five foot green giant. It's a field raised giant arborvitae. It grows very fast. It can grow upwards to three feet a year. This pole, it goes up to six feet. But we call this a four to five because four to five is where the end of the main body of the tree is. We also have these a little fuller when they're trimmed and we, so we sell them trimmed and untrimmed. This is basically trimmed lightly. It's been trimmed once. It has a very sturdy single leader on it and that's one of the advantages of the Green Giant. You can bend it right over and it can take a lot of snow damage and without any suffering any real uh, ill effects. It's usually planted about six to eight feet apart. It can be planted five feet apart. It's a little tight but it can be planted in normal situations six to eight feet apart about five to six feet from a property line. It's fast growing, deer resistant, bagworm resistant, not deer proof or bagworm proof, but fairly resistant. We sell this all up and down the East Coast. You can call us at 215-651-8329. We can deliver and install these for you. And as you can see, we have 
many different sizes of them from small medium to large as well as emerald green and Niagara Arborvitas. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are Bennett's Compact Hollies. A nice bush for along a walkway. Easy to maintain, hardy, and not expensive. So give us a call, 215-651-8329 at Island Hill These are American Holly Alex of Paca. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. Right here is Robertson Red, but we grow lots of different crab apples. Got a lot of them anywhere from uh, inch and a half caliber all the way up to three, three and a half and some four. We have these nice hemlocks we've grown here for a lot of years. Uh, we kept them thin good. They're really great sheared. We've got them up to 11 to 12 foot. These are green velvet boxwoods. These are about 36 inches. You can see down there we have quite a few more of them. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are our blood good Japanese maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes and we also have weeping Japanese red maples and also green maples. So give us a call, 215-651-8329.